Hello guys, it's me, Sir Dan Apostol. So in this video, we are going to discuss the quartile of ungrouped data. So quartiles are the score points which divide a distribution into four equal parts. So para mas maintindihan natin tong ating uh, definition, let's have this illustration. So Q sub 1 stands for quartile 1 which divide the datas or itong ating distribution na to into two parts. So yung part na nasa left side that is below the quartile 1 that is 25%. And yung part na nasa right side that is above quartile 1 that is 75% of the distribution. Then we have Q sub 2. This is our quartile 2. Then they divide the distribution or data natin into two parts which are 50% below and 50% above. And yung Q sub 3 is our quartile 3. Then they divide naman niya yung ating distribution or data into 75% below and 25% above. Then makikita natin dito na yung bawat distribution or bawat division natin that is equal to 25% and our Q sub 2 or quartile 2 is also the median or the middle data of the distribution so para mas maintindihan natin yung quartile let's have this examples okay so let's have this example number 1 so in this example ang gagamitin natin method dito ay manual so meron kasi different methods on how to find the quartiles of ungrouped data. So in this example, gagamitan natin siya ng manual method. So example number one, Dr. Agustin recorded the number of teachers vaccinated for COVID-19. The results are 9, 14, 10, 12, 17, 5, 8, 9, 14, 10, and 11. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 datas. Then let us find the lower quartile and upper quartile. So pag sinabing lower quartile, that is our quartile 1. And pag sinabing upper quartile, that is our quartile 3. And yung quartile 2 is the median. Now, so to solve for this using manual method, the first thing to do is to arrange the distribution or data in descending or ascending order. So, pwedeng pataas or pababa. So, in our example, itong ating solution, i-arrange natin siya from least to greatest. So, first, tignan natin yung pinakamababang data. So, we have 5. So, let us list 5. Then, next, 8. Next, we have 1, 2. So, dalawang 9. Next, we have 1, 2, dalawang 10. Next, we have 11. Next, we have 12. And next is 14, dalawang 14. And last one is 17. So, check natin kung, tala, kung 11 yung datas natin. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, pag naka-arrange na yung datas natin, okay, the second step is to identify our median or yung quartile 2. So, para ma-identify natin yung median, ang gagawin natin technique is to uh, i-partner natin yung mga datas ng list to greatest. Then yung susunod na mga datas. So first, we have 5 and 7. Partner sila. Then 8 and 14, magka-partner. 9 and 14, magka-partner. 9 and 12, magka-partner. And 10 and 11, magka-partner. So ang walang partner dito, etong datang 10 na to. So meaning, this is our median or quartile 2. So, to solve for the lower quartile so, titignan natin itong datas na below sa ating middle data, which is 10. 
So we have here 5 and 10 pag partner natin. 8 and 9 pag partner natin. So ang walang ka-partner ay 9. Therefore, this is our quartile 1. Okay? So next, let us find the upper quartile, which is quartile 3. So dito naman, titignan natin yung datas above our quartile 2. So we have 11, 12, 14, 14, and 17. Then the same uh, technique, the same process. So pag partnerin natin yung 11 and 17, 12 and 14, then yung walang ka-partner, yan yung ating quartile 3. Okay? So in this distribution, ang quartile 1 natin is 9. And quartile 2, which is the median, is 10. Quartile 3 is 14. So, pag in-interpret natin yung ating mga quartile, so we have quartile 1 and quartile, quartile 3, lower quartile and upper quartile. Pag in-interpret natin yung quartile 1 natin, so we can say that 25% of the data or 25% of the teachers vaccinated for COVID-19 is or are below which uh, below quartal 1 which is 9 and also we can use this 75% of the data or the teachers vaccinated for COVID-19 are above 9 which is our quartal 1 and pag in-interpret naman natin yung quartile 3, so that is quartile 3, so we have 75% of the data or the teachers vaccinated for COVID-19 are below 14. And also we can use this one, 25% of the data are above 14. So, another uh, method on how to find the lower quartile, the median and upper quartile in this example is what we call the Mendel and Sinich method. So, the formula in finding the quartile of the given distribution is given by Q sub K is equal to K over 4 times the quantity of N plus 1. Where K is the number of quartile, kung ano yun, kung 1, 2, or 3. Okay? Then N is the total number of the frequency, kung ilan yung ating datas. Then, kaya over 4 yan kasi nga quartile. So, it, uh, quartiles divide the distribution in 4 parts. So, to solve for quartile 1, tignan natin kung parehas makukuha natin. So, we have Q sub K, that is Q sub 1, is equal to, then K is also 1, 1 fourth times N, ilan yung distribution natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, that is 11 plus 1. Okay? Next, we have 1 fourth then 11 plus 1, that is 12. Then 12 times 1, we have 12 divided by 4. Then 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So hindi ibig sabihin na yung quarter 1 natin is 3. Ang ibig sabihin na itong 3 na to, this is the position or third position. Okay? So, in this distribution, ang third position natin is 1, 2, 3, 9. So, meaning, the same lang sila na magiging sagot. So, by using this formula, we can find the lower quartile. How about the median? Tignan natin kung parehas makukuha natin. So, again, using this formula, we have Q, with, uh, Q sub 2 is equal to, then K is 2, 
2 over 4 times. Then again, we have 11 data. So 11 plus 1. So that is 2 over 4. 11 plus 1, that is 12. Then 12 times 2, that is 24. Then divided by 4. So yung quartile to natin, yung position ng quartile to natin, 24 divided by 4, that is 6. So pang 6 position yung ating quartile 2. So bilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So tama, parehas lang sila ng sagot. How about quartile 3? So quartile 3, so is equal to yung k natin, which is 3 over 4. Then times n is 11 plus 1. Then simplify natin, so that is 3 over 4, 11 plus 1, that is 12. Then multiply 12 by 3, so we have 36. Then divided by 4. 36 divided by 4, that is... Okay, that is 9. So pang 9th position yung ating quartile 3. So bilang natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 14, so tama yung ating sagot. So the same lang yung magiging sagot kung gagamitin natin itong Mendel and Sinich method. Or pwede rin gamitin yung manual method. I hope natuto kayo sa ating video on how to find or locate the lower quartile, the median or quartile 2, and upper quartile of the given distribution. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you on our next upload. God bless to all of you.